you. Sir Robert Sims. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, this will surprise you. I'm old enough <coughs> to have voted in the 1975 referendum. Oh, oh, not. And I voted yes to stay in the common market. But what I voted for changed rather substantially over the years, and I became somewhat concerned about the way the EU uh, had developed. And when it came to the last referendum, I was vote leave, on balance, but I think that was the right decision. And I think the truth of the matter is it wasn't to do with what was on the side of a bus. It's that most of our citizens actually have had to live with the EU over a number of decades. And there's just that general feeling that actually it wasn't very responsible, uh, res responsive to their needs and that uh, the British people have a certain native common sense and that is that actually we could do better on our own and compared with the 1970s when Britain was a rather depressing place, Britain actually is doing really well in the world and has been doing so over the past 20 years. And the reality therefore is uh, I think that the British people, it was a vote of confidence in this country. We can do a lot better. We can uh, be an open, flexible, dynamic economy in the world. And leaving the EU was always going to be a messy business because any kind of divorce is, and there are compromises, and I pay credit to the Prime Minister for the work that she and the negotiators have done. It is a difficult job and probably a thankless job, and it will be even more thankless uh, next Tuesday when we have the result of uh, what this House uh, will decide. Um, and I think there are, are, are some good things in the agreement, and I think that a lot of it I could agree with as a compromise to see us out of the EU. But there's something which I find very difficult to deal with as a Conservative Unionist. That's the Irish backstop. Uh, I don't want to treat any area of the United Kingdom differently uh, to uh, my constituency. Uh, I think that there is a danger of getting us hung up in that arrangement. I think the advice of the Ad Attorney General is very clear. And I think the Prime Minister needs to go back to the EU and say, deal on, providing we have a date to the backstop. 